Welcome to the Student Canvas Overview for Imperial Valley College. The Canvas user interface has three main components, the dashboard, global navigation, and the sidebar. The dashboard is a quick way to access any of your courses that are currently active. There are two different views that you can use to view your dashboard. Click this gear in the corner to change that view. Right now we are in the card view, which would have each course show up as a card. And then there's also recent activity. In the recent activity stream, any announcements or upcoming activities would show in this area. For this student, they have one course, so one course card is listed. To change and customize your card, click on the three dots in the top right corner. You can give your course a nickname that only you will see. You can also change the color by clicking on one of the color options here or by typing in a hex code. If you want to see the full name of your course again, all you need to do is hover over the name and the full name will appear. The course card will reflect up to four tabs depending on if the instructor has made them visible to you. For this card, we see the Announcements tab and the Discussions tab. You would see a symbol in the top right corner with a number of announcements that you have not yet read. The two remaining tabs that you don't see here are Assignments and Quizzes. But again, the instructor can customize what can be seen on the card view. In the global navigation, our first option is account. In the account, we can update our profile, modify our settings, change our notifications, import files, and build an ePortfolio. With our profile, here's where we can change our picture. For people to see that are in the class with us. Click Edit Profile to change the content. The Files option is a great way to import content into Canvas for you to access later. This could be assignments or any documents that you need to access. Notifications are very important as this is how you will be notified of any activity in this class. It is very important that you review all of these options as this could very well impact your success in a course. There are four notification options. Notify me right away, send daily summary, send weekly summary, or do not send me anything. Send weekly summary means you're only going to get all the activity once a week. We do not recommend this option as an instructor may post an important announcement that you want to see right away. Then finally, do not send me anything means that you will not be notified of the activity. Each activity is listed so you can customize your notifications how you would like. Our recommendation is to at very least have the announcements sent to you right away as that is how our instructors communicate with their students in a majority of our classes. For example, classes canceled today may be sent as an announcement, so you would probably want that right away. Other options that you may consider wanting only once a day or not at all would be discussion posts and so on. And if you do not know what it is, we recommend you keep the default setting. In settings, you can add additional methods of contact. This is a great way to ensure that you receive your notifications where you will most likely view them. Click plus contact method and you can add either an additional email, so this could be a Gmail account, a Yahoo account, or so on, or click text and you can type in a mobile number, select your carrier, and you will receive your announcements and other notification settings 
to your phone. You can also attach web services if you would like, such as Skype, LinkedIn, and Twitter in the settings area. To return to your dashboard at any time, you can click the dashboard button or the IVC logo at the top. Courses will provide not only the course reflected on your dashboard, but all courses that you have been enrolled in where the instructor used Canvas. For this student, they were enrolled in four courses in the spring semester, and they can still access the courses here as view only. If this student was enrolled in future courses, future enrollments would appear. Please note that courses that reflect as future enrollments will not be made available until the first day of the semester. In the calendar, we can see an aggregated view of all of the requirements of every one of our courses that have a due date. They are color-coded according to the course card. Since we set the course card to yellow, we see the items as yellow. If this student had multiple courses, we would see multiple colors. This tells us that this student has a lot of items that need to be done by Saturday. The calendar feed link gives you a code that you can type into your Google Calendar or Outlook Calendar in order to sync your Canvas Calendar. This is a great feature. Your inbox are where the conversations are held. This would be messages from your instructor to you if they were sent by email or if you'd emailed your instructor. You can click on any message to see the full activity here. You can click on the trash to delete the message. Or you can click on the down arrow in order to archive the message. If you archive a message, you are saving it for later use. To access the archive message, select the drop-down and archived, and it will show you all the messages you have already archived in the past. And finally, Help provides a quick link where you can ask your instructor a question. This will give you a list of any instructors assigned for the current active term. You can search the Canvas guides. There are several written documents as well as videos on how to accomplish individual Canvas tasks. You can report a problem with Canvas, submit a feature idea on how to improve Canvas, or access the phone number for the Canvas support hotline, which is available 24-7. Our third component is the sidebar. The sidebar contains four components, the to-do list, the coming up feed, recent feedback, and view grades. The to-do list will show all the assignments that you need to complete. It could also include quizzes, discussions, or other activities that have an assigned due date that is occurring in the near future. Coming up, will show you assignments and or other items that have a due date that are coming up soon. Recent feedback will show you comments that you have received from either other students or your instructor on a submitted assignment. View grades will show you the grades for all of your courses, if available. Now let's view the course interface. We click on the course card to access our course. Courses have three main components the course menu, the content area, and the sidebar. The content area is in the middle screen. The course menu may change according to how your instructor has customized the course. Click on any of the links on the left to access that content, and it will load in this content area. Most information is typically housed in the modules. To go through the modules, you start from the top and scroll down. If the instructor has not yet made it visible, you will not see it. 
so it is important to check back in your course frequently. Discussions, if available, provide an opportunity for you to correspond with your classmates. Grades will show you a breakdown of your grades in a course. This is for the specific course in question since we are accessing this from the course view. Again, the menu may be modified according to your instructor. At any time, you can click on Home to return to the home page if the instructor has a home page set. The sidebar is dynamic depending on where you are in the course. To return to the dashboard, we can click on the IVC logo. Thank you for watching the Student Canvas Interface video. We are glad to have you at Imperial Valley College and look forward to working with you to help you succeed.